Welcome to the YTech 2 Introduction to Automatic Wi-Fi Switching video. The Automatic Wi-Fi Network Switching feature was introduced with YTech 2 302 release. What is the Automatic Wi-Fi Switching feature? The Vehicle Communication Interface device, or Micropod device, will be referred to as the VCI device here on out, remembers the previously connected Wi-Fi networks. When the VCI device powers on, it attempts to first connect to the Wi-Fi network it was last connected to. If the last connected network is not detected, the VCI device will look for the next previously connected network. The VCI will continue to attempt to find and connect to any of the previously connected networks by priority of the date and time last connected. If one of the previously connected networks is detected, the VCI will automatically connect to the detected network. The VCI will maintain connection with the connected Wi-Fi network until the network is no longer present. How do I enable the automatic Wi-Fi switching feature? The feature is enabled by default. The VCI will remember previously connected networks. How do I add networks to the VCI device's automatic network selection list? It's easy. Just connect to the Wi-Fi network and the network is automatically added to the automatic network switching list. Just follow these steps to connect to a Wi-Fi network. 1. Power on the VCI device within range of the desired network. If you are not in range of a previously connected Wi-Fi network, you'll need to connect the VCI device to PC via USB and have the Micropod setup utility open to allow the VCI to communicate with a YTech2 cloud server. Using a web browser, navigate to https colon forward slash forward slash login dot n dot fcaytech.com log in with the username password and dealer code of the id associated to the vci device the vci device displays in vehicle selection select the device configuration settings gear select the network drop down the network list is dynamic and continuously updates as access points are detected select the desired network enter the network password and select connect Select OK to connect to the new network. Now a check mark shows current network selection. The heart icon denotes a network saved in the auto selection list. Also notice the IP displays a valid IP. Close the device manager tab. The VCI is now connected to the new network. Tech tip. The use of hidden SSIDs with YTEC2 is discouraged. The hidden Wi-Fi networks offer no appreciable security benefit, but will have a negative impact on the speed of the VCI Wi-Fi auto switching. Now we'll go over some use case scenarios. All use case scenarios presume the hotspot devices have been previously used with the VCI. Scenario A. The technician is planning to complete a road test utilizing the dealership's cellular hotspot device and his Wi-Fi only tablet. Power on the VCI device. Power on the cellular hotspot device. Connect the tablet to the cellular hotspot device's network. If necessary, review the tablet's owner's manual for instructions. Log into YTEC2 on the tablet. Complete the road test. When the VCI loses the Wi Fi connection with the dealership's network, it will automatically switch over to the cellular hotspot network. YTEC will momentarily display the lost connection message, but will automatically recover. Upon returning to the dealership, disable the cellular hotspot device. Since the tablet was using the hotspot network, the tablet lost connection to the YTEC cloud server. In this situation, the tablet has previously connected to the dealership's YTEC2 network, so it automatically connected to the YTEC2 network when it lost connection to the hotspot network. The tablet automatically regains connection with the YTEC cloud server. The VCI automatically switches to the dealership's YTEC2 network and automatically regains connection to the YTEC cloud server. Scenario B. The technician is planning to complete a road test utilizing the dealership's iPad with built-in cellular data and is in range of the dealership's YTEC2 network. Since the iPad requires the user to be on the personal hotspot screen until a device connects to the hotspot, the recommended method is to manually switch the VCI to the hotspot network. 
This will allow the technician to navigate to the desired YTEC 2 screen while in the dealership environment and not on the road. Power on the BCI and range of the dealership's YTEC 2 network. Log into YTEC 2 on the iPad. Select the gear to open the VCI device manager page. Open the network dropdown. Select the iPad's personal hotspot network and then select OK. Quickly navigate to the iPad home screen. Select Settings, then Personal Hotspot. Enable Personal Hotspot. Wait for the Personal Hotspot to show an active connection. Return to YTEC 2 and verify the VCI is connected to the iPad's Personal Hotspot. Close the Device Manager tab and complete the road test. Upon returning to the dealership, disable the personal hotspot network. The VCI will automatically connect to the dealership's YTEC2 network. If you wish to continue your diagnostic session, return to YTEC and YTEC will momentarily display the lost connection message but will automatically recover. Scenario C. The technician is planning to program keys on the back lot utilizing the dealership's iPad with built-in cellular data and is out of range of the dealership's YTEC2 network. First, enable the iPad personal hotspot network. Then power on the VCI device out of range of the dealership's YTEC2 network. Wait for the iPad personal hotspot to display an active connection. Log in to YTEC2 on the iPad. Complete the key programming. When finished, disable the personal hotspot network and the VCI will automatically connect to the dealership's YTEC2 network next time it is powered on in range of the YTEC2 network. That concludes the YTEC2 Introduction to Automatic Wi-Fi Switching video.